contest right now and I am absolutely terrified. I've bleached my hair one time without like a stylist and my friend did it for me and we bleached it three times in one day and it was dead. It was fucked. So this is my natural hair right here. And this is about six months of regrowth. Um, I don't really want to take my hair down right now, but you'll see it. And then I have like a balayage going on up here. I have a few packs of this Wella powder lightener. Before you say anything, okay? As soon as this arrived, I knew I fucked up because I got the 30 volume developer. And my hair is natural and pre-lightened. So I don't need 30 volume developer, hopefully. It works out. I don't really care what color it is as long as it doesn't look like it does now. My hair right now isn't orange at all. It's like really yellowy. So I'm really hoping I don't get any like orange band or like... It... I'm spooked, okay? I'm really spooked. Doesn't look terrible. It looks a little more orange up close. So this is without the toner. The bottom is a little more orangey than like the top and the middle, obviously just because I have previous color in it. So that's interesting. So I have my little Tupperware bowl and my literal paintbrush. Maybe I should wear a glove. I'm not sure if the foils are even necessary for the hair that I have. I said I was gonna just focus it up top and then brush it down, but I just did it on the whole strand, and okay, that's fine. We're off to a great start. I've cut off a lot of my hair since the last time I bleached it, so hopefully this works out for me and my hair doesn't fall out. If it looks like shit, that's also my fault. Oh, that, that burns. I mean, if it burns your eyes, you probably shouldn't put it on your fucking skin, right? <coughs> oh, that's not good. I'm gonna come back when I have a little bit more done. So, hear me out. I ran out of bleach, so uh, right now I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come get me and we're gonna go pick up some more bleach. The parts that are done uh, actually turned out really well, in my opinion. Of course the roots are a little lighter and then the ends are a little bit more orangey. That's what we're working with right now. I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back to finish the rest of this disaster. So it's the next day, my dogs are screaming in the background, I look like this. Let's do it. So instead of tin foil, I'm just going to be using some plastic wrap when I'm done. And I'm obviously leaving this out because it's already bleached. Underneath the bag, I have plastic wrap. Let's see how this looks. Hear me out. So, like I said, when I was doing this side, I ran out of bleach. So I only got a little bit done and it turned out perfectly fine, a little orangey, not too bad. Um, on this side, uh, I went to Sally's and I asked them to give me a tub of bleach and I told them what I used on this side and they gave me this. This says on dark hair only, this is orange and this is purple and I don't know what to do. At least we're in quarantine and I have nowhere to go. Thank God my hair is like all healthy and it can probably handle another bleach. I would not like to use 30 volume developer again, so maybe I will pick up a 20 volume. Okay, so it's actually taken me a couple weeks now to finish this video because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it. I did stop filming after the bleaching and let me walk you through what I did. So you can see a little bit here that it's still kind of got a little bit of darkness and that is from when I did the first round of bleach and then I ran out. I just decided to put the platinum blonde toner that you saw in the original clip. I just put that on my head and I figured well my hair's bleached, so it should just even it all out. It doesn't look even to me. I didn't end up filming that because it turned out terrible. And it honestly just looked more purple. I figured if I washed my hair with shampoo like the next day, it would take out some of the purple, and it did. I ended up going to a drugstore and buying box dye. And it was at the store I was at. And I figured, well, I don't have to go all the way to Sally's. I can just use this. It's the same thing. I don't even know what I was thinking, but that's what I did, and the outcome really confused me because it wasn't like a lightning kit, it was just a color. This color is kind of like the one that I bought in the box dye. I wish I saved the box to show you, but 
It might have been like a little bit lighter blonde than that, but it was much darker than this. So I thought if I put that on, it would darken this stuff and then it would match the darker parts because I didn't want to use bleach again because I was a little worried about that and um, that didn't work and this is what we have. <laughs> the purple came out. It looks good. I like this color. I've deep conditioned it a couple times since dyeing it. It doesn't feel that bad. Um, it felt really bad at first, but I did cut off all of the really fried ends. Um, I already had the tips of my hair already dyed before. I took it off, but I'm just gonna do it again. Blonde Ultra Light Ash Blonde to dye the, tip, the tips of my hair. Okay, so um, I just got out the bathroom and I'm a little shook right now, cause what? untangled my hair in the shower. So the first thing I'm gonna use, which is my favorite product of all, it's the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. This is my favorite product of all time. And yeah, there you have it. Me being crazy. The Relax Heavily Highlighted Hair or Damaged Hair do not use. I've dyed my hair at least like in 2019. I dyed my hair. It was purple, and then it was green, and then it was like light brown, and then I dyed it brown, and then I dyed it a red color, <laughs> and then I did a little ego thing where you like bleach the front, and then I dyed that blue or purple, and then I dyed my hair black, and then I dyed my hair brown. In 2019, I dyed my hair nine times. We're gonna go ahead and put it on like the middle section because. You don't want to put it on your... Oh my god, I'm actually worried if this is going to be enough. I should have bought two. This is the only one. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we're going to just have to see what we can do with it. <laughs> it's okay. It's, that's totally okay. I didn't care about the shirt anyways. Gosh, I look like the um the peanut heads from the Proud Family. Um, I'll be back in an hour and let y'all know how this goes. <laughs> oh my god, this is so splotchy. Okay, let's do this. I was like all YOLO in the beginning and now I'm just like, fuck my life. <laughs> it's okay though, you know, like it's literally just hair. I know this is not the right way to dye your hair. I know it's not, okay? So don't come for me because I already knew, I've been new, but I just, I still have hope. I, st I still have hope. It's it should be a little bit dry right now, so I'm gonna close my eyes because I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. I hope this person does not FaceTime me again because I'm trying to show you guys. Okay. Oh my god, I'm nervous. It looked pink in the shower. Okay, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <gasps> she's pink she is pink oh my goodness <gasps> okay i'm gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna come back to you guys it's kind of patchy not gonna lie but i really love it um i'm, I'm gonna look at the back later <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this anyways thank you guys a lot for watching i promise you guys it wasn't a mental breakdown maybe 
but uh, I have been wearing that my hair pink for a long time and I did want more of a light like pastel pink but this is good enough I mean bang bang bye <laughs>